this will assemble and go together. I know you are thinking to yourself, hey Ricardo, usually you unbox everything one by one. Yes, but this one makes sense because this will assemble and go together. What I have in here, I don't know if you can see, it says Gomexos and this one says nothing. But if you are following the videos in the channel, you know that I think the beginning of June I proposed you a deal. A deal on this reel. So this is the, oops, sorry. This is the Tatula 80. And if I can get to this one, you know that I also, oh, nice. Something I like very much, stickers. Thank you, Gomexos, for being a good brand and sending stickers for your clients. Very, very, very good packaging from Gomexos. Branded tip, which is cool. And a lot of bubble wrap. And in here, I have a BFS pool for the Tatula 80. It's not the ending of the morning on the Tatula 80. I have more things on the way to mod my reel, but I basically bought it because I wanted an aluminum frame wheel to get a bit more of a beating. And I also wanted the deeper spool for some heavier fishing that I will be doing this summer and probably on the next upcoming years after bigger and bigger bass. But I will give you a closer look of these two up, up on the table. So now that we are on the table, we can have a closer look to the box and the insides of it, even the Gomexus one. So I paid 81 euros for this reel and 18 for the spool. So retail price is 169 on Europe, I paid half of that. So I think I will put all the upgrades that I need to put on this reel to make it up to the spec that I want and still be under the full price tag that we have in here. The box has all the mumbo jumbo that you are used to on the marketing department, the OTD drag, Mac4C, blah, 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 uh, all the things that you hyperdrive, whatever that means. It basically says it has some nice features, but the main ones that I was looking for on this reel were the brakes because I'm curious how they work because they are not like a mag brake style. It's the Mag Force Z, the aluminium chassis on the reel and the TWS system. So in here you can see that the TWS system, it's basically the eye on where that lays the line. It's very, very small, but when you cast it opens wide open. Also, it's a very, very good looking reel. I even like the graphics of the Tatula over there. The ergonomics are pretty cool. The only thing I can have to complain is that the brake adjustment, it's a little bit too tight. I know that some people with large hands complain about adjusting the brake force inadvertently. But in this case, I think it's a bit too much. In here, you have the zero adjustment knob that I will have to adjust because I will change the spool. It's very, very firm frame on this uh, reel. But one thing I have to tell you, I have uh, smaller hands and fingers. And still for me to put my thumb over there, it's very, very narrow. I will take a measure of it, but still it's a very, very narrow spool. So in here, a closer look of the mag force on the side plate. This side plate is plastic. The rest of the plastic reinforced carbon, the rest of it, it's aluminum. But in here, you can have a closer look of the inductee of the spool. You see how tiny it is? It's very, very tiny. So let's take a quick measure of it. And remember that the Comexos one, it's the exact same size, at least wide. So 22 millimeter. And then on the diameter, you have 32 as specced by Daiwa. 
Also, the finishing on a spool, it's impeccable. You don't see any leftovers from machining, so no burrs, no nothing. And the shaft is, I think, 63 millimeter long. I would like to see a short shaft version of this reel. This is from 2022, so maybe on a future upgrade they will give us a shorter shaft. I don't know how it will be done with a zero adjustment uh, on the tension knob, but either way I would like to see it. So if I can put the spool on my scale, I will be able to tell you that this spool is 15.1 grams. So if I grab the Gomexos one on this very cool looking box, I have to tell that the Gomexos it's at least the packaging it's impeccable the spool we will see but the weight on the spool it's 6.8 grams so right in there you have a nice cut on weight around 9 grams so pretty good on the weight side because i'll be taking and heading weight on this reel as time progresses so we have 186 grams so a bit over the spec that Daiwa says, uh, someone greased this too much on Thailand. Maybe from some part time that they have outside of the Daiwa factory. But if we put the Gomexo spool on the scale, it will give us 178 grams. So nice weight reduction. And overall, this is the trend that I want to continue getting the reel lighter i will probably source an 85 millimeter handle i will put hybrid bearings on the main shaft and i will change the bushings on the worm shaft for stainless steel ones because i want it to be even smoother also a drag clicker will be installed because there's no drag sound on this reel whatsoever the smoothness out of the box it's impeccable i really want to improve it with the uh, installation of more bearings where is bushings hopefully i will not mess with the worm shaft too much so the tw system is still up to spec the only thing i have to complain about this reel really it's not even the free spooling, it's the way that you have to open the side plate with that screw. It's a bit too much work and I see this falling on the water for someone on a kayak or, or on a boat. And now just a quick sound check. So this is a drag adjustment and I didn't boost the volume on purpose. So this is the real sound out of the box. Pretty pleasant. The brake leaking is also pretty cool, but what you know what is pretty cool? Fishing with this reel. So I already went fishing with it and I had a blast, but this is really a reel for the fall. Yeah, I guess it's good. So this is just a teaser of me on the last legs of the Twat Shad migration. A bit of noise coming from the, the spool. Let's see if something that will stay. Whoa, and it's on. But I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.